Alright guys, so here we are for Valentino Rossi the game. Pretty much the sequel to MotoGP 2015 I believe. Um, I uploaded a couple of videos on that last year. I was absolutely terrible and I'm not gonna lie, my skills have not improved since then. So I'm just going to apologize in advance how badly I'm going to ride in this video. I literally know nothing about MotoGP or anything like that. Literally all I know is that this game is based off of like the career of Valentino Rossi going through, you know, certain moments of his career, trying to relive those and get back into MotoGP, trying maybe trying to recreate history. That's the kind of theme of this game. So literally that's about it. That's all I know. So uh yeah, we'll give this a go. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe to see plenty more racing game videos in the not too distant future. And if you like this video, leave a like. So, without further ado, let's get into Valentino Rossi, the game. Welcome and nice to meet you. I'm Sara, your personal assistant. Uh, I kind of missed what her name was. Is it Sara? Sarah? Sari? It's going to be awkward when I have conversations with her. I'm going to be like, uh, hey, you. You there. We've got lots to do, but I'm sure we'll pull it off. First of all, let's get this paperwork out of the way. I've prepared the final version of the contract, just fill it out and we're good to go. Either way, so it looks like we've got our very own character to create, so I'm just going to go quickly ahead and do that now because I'm sure you guys don't want to sit through something like this. Alright, so there we go. This is my rider for Valentino Rossi The Game. Pretty uh, self-explanatory stuff right there. We've got our nickname right on the back there. We are Crash. Because we are trash. I thought my character was white. He definitely looks black under the under the helmet. Perfect. Now it's time to introduce you to the rest of the VR46 Riders Academy. I'll add you to the group chat so you can stay in touch with Valentino and the guys. Ah, I see Valentino is already writing to you. It looks like you've already been invited to the Moto Ride. Okay, so like the agent said, or whoever she was, she said where we can go out and practice with uh, Valentino and the other riders. So the choice we have is the Moto Ranch, the Tomas Rio Honda, uh, Misano Oval Flat, the Misano Ring Sepang at Malaysia. That looks good. Valencia, not don't know that track. Actually, let's let's stick to what we know and not completely embarrass ourselves. We'll uh, we'll go out and chill at Sepang. Nope. We can't chill at Sepang, unfortunately. No, no chilling. Valentino's not going to fork out the uh, the flights for us all to just go for a little cruise around Malaysia. Okay, I think we have to go back to the Moto Ranch. The Dock. The Academy Riders, aka the Peasants. See all these guys taking really smooth lines and all that, and then you'll see me at the back flipping, crashing, cutting corners. You know the whole the whole shebang. That's gonna be me at the back, embarrassing myself. Hi, welcome to the motor range. Finally, we meet. This is one of my and the guys from the academy's favorite places. We come to train here on the flat track between the races. We were just about to start the race. Fancy joining us? <laughs> Join us on the track as soon as you can. Okay. <laughs> I, love, uh, I love his uh, accent there. He's invited us to a race. Bless him. We're going to show him up. This rookie who has absolutely no idea what he's doing. I'm just going to straight up boss this. I mean, they don't call me Crash for nothing. You guys up front, you better watch out because you've got a whole different thing coming to you. Away we go. I've stretched... I shifted straight up into second gear without even meaning to. Here we go. I don't. I don't know what assists are on. I don't know. I've never driven on. You don't drive bikes, Benjamin. I've never ridden a, a bike motocross thing ever on on dirt before. So this is going to be entirely new to me. Uh, so I apologise in advance just how terrible I am. So far, we're actually doing quite well. We've moved up in a P7, and. Uh, Getting some slides on here. The last thing I want to do is fall off my bike and get ran over by every single person in this academy. That would be, you know, just ideal. So sorry, mum. Sorry, family. Um, your son, he went off to the uh, Valentino Rossi Riding Academy. Yeah, he died in his first 
in his first just practice race. It was, it was very unfortunate. What am I talking about? Either way, let's go. P3. I, I think I've got like all the assists on, so this is... I'm, I'm gonna have to turn these off, I reckon. No, no, uh, apparently, no, I can't turn off the assists just yet, so I'm not living up to my name here. I'm meant to be crashing and failing, going all over the place. I've just soared past Valentino, as there's an accident. Oh, there it is. There's the crash. Cheers. Oh my goodness me. I gotta say, the sliding and the physics are pretty good. Oh my. Did you just see that? We were going 124 kilometers an hour on a dirt bike. A dirt bike, of all things. Oh, what the f. Are you, are you diving? This, this isn't soccer, mate. What? No one, there was no one in the penalty box, no one tri what the fuck was that for? Either way, I think we are coming to the end of this race now, and I'm not gonna lie, this has been easy. A little too easy, I think. This is the longest three laps of my life, by the way. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's pissed me off. <laughs> Yeah, I know there was an accident. I caused the... I was the accident. Oh, well, here we go. Yeah, we barge those guys out of the way, as you do. Well, there we go. That was, uh, like I was saying, that was a little too easy. Um, we just made a bunch of pros look like amateurs in the first time we've ever picked up a bike. I, I, I literally... I, I, I'm, I'm not even strong enough to pick up a bike, so how the hell... I didn't... What? What? Why did I not win that race? Second place? I've been robbed. <laughs> all these, all these Italian riders, and then there's this guy, this this obnoxious Australian who falls over about ten times, first time ever on a bike, and um, he comes in second place. Seems pretty legitimate, don't you think? No, nah, we've definitely we, that was definitely like easy mode, and there was a sis on and all that kind of thing, and even still, we fell over way too many times. As I was saying, the flat track is perfect practice, and every race that we run at the academy will help you improve as a rider. Today we raced here at the motor range, but we will try other disciplines over the next few months. Oh wow! Wow, there is different skill attributes for this. Wow, this game has blown me away. Like I had, I've done absolutely no research into this game at all. I've just jumped straight on, just gave it a go, and I thought I'd make a video for you guys. And um, the level of immersion so far has like really impressed me. Like the the scenario that they put you in, being in an academy rider and and having all these different attributes and stuff for different skills. Um, I'm guessing as these improve, like for example, if my braking improves, maybe I can brake later into some corners, throttle management, I shouldn't have got any attributes for that because I had traction control on, I'm almost certain of that, but yeah, pretty interesting so far. I, I'd like to actually jump in a Moto3 bike, something like that, get in a proper race and see like how much this game has changed versus MotoGP15, because I'd be, I'd be quite interested to be honest. MotoGP was quite fun on the more powerful bikes. Congratulations, you have completed the Valentino Rossi uh, The Game career introduction. You can now keep on living your VR46 Riders Academy adventure or go back to the main menu and experience other game modes. Okay. Hey, I heard you really went for it at the Moto Ranch. Great, we need guys with your talent. Since you are one of our most promising riders, we want you to race Moto3. Alright, so it looks like that uh, introduction race was uh, a success. We have been offered a, a place in Moto3, but we're going to be a wildcard entry, so we're only going to take place in three races. So we've got three races to impress and um, see how we go in the world of Moto3. Let me know, guys, if you want me to make more videos on this. Yeah, uh, I'd, I'd like to try and upload more videos of this than what I did MotoGP 15, I think it was. Let me know. I think there's more things to do in this as well. Like you can do like drifting and all that kind of thing. You can drive a Mustang, you can drive rally, um, you can drive on the flat track, ride on the flat track. So there is a little bit more depth to this game. So 
I'd be more than willing to make some more videos on this, but um, I think it'll take a little bit of time for me to, to get to those videos eventually because I'm going to be away for the next week or so um, from the time that I make this video. So, either way, we're going to do one of the first wildcard races in Moto3. We'll see how we go. Okay, so here's a, a little bit of a timeline on the calendar. Um, we've got the three Moto3 races. We've got some um, just more like academy stuff with Valentino Rossi, but first up, we've got that Moto3 race, so that's what we're going to jump into now. We're off to the Termas di Rio Honda. Hopefully I got that right. Hello and welcome to the Termas di Rio Hondo circuit in Argentina. In just a few minutes, the Moto3 riders will be gunning for victory in the second round of the World Championship. Okay, we're ready. Your debut race in the World Championship. You must be pumped. Remember, if you need help with motorbike setup, you can use the guided tuning. Good luck. Okay, so here we are for our very first race in Moto3. I think the way that this, the uh, the settings were uh, configured, there is no qualifying, there is no practice, there is only the race. So, they, uh, they like to chuck you into the deep end quite quickly in this game, which is, um, I guess, both good and terrifying at the same time. Where are we going to start from? I, I'm guessing it's going to be last place. To be honest, I'm not expecting... At Thomas de Rio Ando, concentration at a high, because this running of the Argentinian Grand Prix will start any moment now. Okay, I swear my guy looks black. But either way, here we go. Ready for the start of our Moto career. Starting off in Moto3. There is the... I had to work out how to shift up in gears, because I have all the assists off now. So, away we go then. Okay, that's a lie. I've got some assists on. Like, um, dual braking and, um, automatic tuck-in. That's about it. The rest is up to me. So far, so good. Haven't crashed just yet. I'm guessing these bikes... These bikes are going to be much more stable than, um, the dirt bikes we're riding on a flat track. Bit of a FPS drop there. Not too sure if that's my Xbox or if that's this game. But either way, we will carry on. We are in position 29 of 34 riders. I actually can't remember the last time I raced with this many opponents before. I think it might have been iRacing or something like that. It's quite, quite incredible to get this amount of opponents. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Don't talk about opponents. Get on with the racing, Benjamin. Back down to last. Brilliant. Come on! Oh, yeah, there's a big pileup. I've lived up to my freaking nickname there, haven't I? You know what? Let's, uh, let's restart this one. I've got a general feel for the bikes now. And, um, I think I may have possibly made the difficulty just a slightly too hard. I just, I may, I put it on hard difficulty, so we'll see how we go this time. A good start will go a long way towards putting us in the mid-pack. Here we go. Four red lights. And away we go for this Moto3 race. See, that's much better. We're already in the pack and we are ready to barge into some of these riders. Second gear. See, it makes such a difference when you know what you're doing. And, and the frame drops again. Uh, this game initially looks like it isn't quite optimised at the moment. Maybe, uh, no, they did have a day one patch, so not too sure what's going on here. I think the Xbox is possibly having some troubles rendering all 34 car, uh, cars, bikes at the same time. I'm a four wheels kind of guy, so excuse me if I, if I constantly keep saying drive instead of ride, or cars instead of bikes. This is, this is not my cup of tea. But um, I'm going to quickly learn, hopefully. Anyway, P19, let's go. It's no motion, and we're back on the bike, and we will resume the race from there. And up the inside, that is the definition of a dive bomb. I don't think we're going to make it stick on the exit. No, he gets us back on the crisscross. Still in 14th place. I must say, this game is fairly easy to pick up and play. The last time I played a, a motorbike game was MotoGP 15 exactly a year ago. And for the most part, I haven't struggled too much, to be fair. I've struggled more on Project Cars, for example, than what I have on this game. 
first picking it up and playing it. Alright, here we go. Last lap. We're in P14. I would love to get inside the top 10 by the race end. Look at me. I'm... I'm I, you can't see it, but I'm actually leaning into the corners. Like, I'm actually riding in this race. It, it's quite embarrassing, really. If... If I would have had face cam on, you guys would so notice, and I'd look like a right idiot. I'd imagine, like, VR on this game would look pretty good. Like, and then maybe, like, have head tracking somehow, and, like, have a, have physics where you lean in, and then that'll be the, the tucking in sequence that you need into some of the corners. Yes, I know I absolutely butchered that corner, but we're going to ignore that. I think that is the nail in the coffin. I don't think we're going to get inside the top 10 now. I think it's going to be all about trying to get back position. I think it was P13 we were in, so let's aim for that by lap end. Yeah, again, the FPS is dropping like crazy. At, some, at certain points of the track, it just like the FPS drop is happening there every every lap. There we go, the race is over. Fanati was the winner of that one. I think we came across the line there in P17. Overall, if I had to give a general synopsis of this game so far, pretty enjoyable, fairly easy to pick up and play. The assists are fairly easy to to switch off and still be, you know, fairly decent at it. Although I haven't switched all of them off. But um, even still, starting in 34th place, we managed to halve our grid position in just three laps. So Pretty impressive, for me anyway, because I'm an absolute noob at these motorbike games. But um, I think I'm going to leave this video here. Pretty enjoyable game, like I said, pretty fun. One downside though, however, is like the gra the like, actual gameplay. It seems like the, um, the FPS drops just a little too often and it's a little bit off-putting when you're trying to ride in the middle of a race. But apart from that, quite enjoying Moto... no not MotoGP, Valentino Rossi the game. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video, um, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and if you want me to do more of these videos, then uh, by all means, let me know down in the comments. If you're an F1 fan, and you are like, and you subscribe for my F1 content, and you've seen this video, let me know whether you've actually enjoyed this, because I'd, I'd be more than happy to return to this game and um, just just give it a go in the next like week or two. Um, I've got a bunch of F106 videos that are like that have all been made in preparation for me going away for the next week or two. But um, as soon as I'm back, I think I'll make some more of these videos because I feel like this game is pretty enjoyable, and I'd like to see you know what progresses, like how it feels jumping in like the MotoGP bike, for example. So I'm gonna stop rambling. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys for a brand new video very soon. Actually. F106 is coming back tomorrow, for those who are, who are wondering. F1 2006 career mode, it will begin again on Sunday. So, there you go.